All right. Welcome back, everybody. Anyway, that's new here. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, obviously, if you clicked on this thumbnail and description, it's because we're talking about the new K Rips. Um, they are the Fry Edition. And if you guys have not, if you're not new here and you've been around for a while, you might know what I'm targeting with them. Um, some of the things might be more obvious than others. And if you guys can guess what, there's going to be two main targets and then one kind of like experimental this season uh but i think it's gonna work so comment below what you guys think i'm gonna be targeting with these guys and then i have some descriptive things i kind of want to go through uh i actually just thought of it because i know some of you guys asked last winter uh for me to go over more of like how i do things i guess uh breaking it down a little bit better obviously i want to talk about these i'm going to kind of compare them to a couple other baits that you guys should know um or might know about that way you guys get like a size and a profile uh understanding kind of how what they look like and what i'm gonna talk about as far as like how they should work so let's get into it okay so today we're gonna go off of these three main colors uh this might i'll let you guys do it again if you guys can think of what i'm gonna target with these guys you can comment below but after this i'm gonna probably tell you guys basically where i'm going with this um there's a reason i have the colors i do and uh here there's a nice close-up Obviously, I think that's the Wonder Bread. I think that's like a Fire Tiger. And then uh, that's like a little baby bluegill. And uh, there's reasons for that. All right. So before we get started, I'm going to mention this probably periodically this winter um, in any video videos you guys see. I have a whole new merch set up for this year. Um, obviously, if you guys are looking at these new K-Rips, you're... Uh, your ice ice fishing people so hopefully you guys can see it see if i can get down all right you should be able to read that ice fishing's in my blood <laughs> as it might be in some of yours so that's the new merch line um i have a whole bunch of stuff this year and i actually made a very very long very specifically put together video for you guys it is actually in the channel trailer if you guys haven't seen that yet i will link that at the very end of this video uh i go into detail on everything i have for merch um so that way you guys have a full overview i have me trying it on i tell you everything there is to know about it so if you guys have any questions that video will answer them and if you guys pick up merch this winter you guys are supporting directly getting more videos filmed. Um, last year, I put out a decent amount of videos, but I basically kept running out of money and waiting and waiting and waiting until I get paid again. And then I would go out and film a couple of videos and then wait, wait, wait. Um, it's a whole lot easier if you guys help support the channel, and that way I can film as much as I can for you guys. And there is a very special giveaway coming up here. Um, I don't know if it's far away or close together. It depends on how often you guys share these videos and how many of you guys subscribe. So hit that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe. You're going to want to. And if you don't have an under understanding of why you're going to want to subscribe, you're going to want to wait till the end of this video and hit that. Uh, I'll put it. It's the ice fishing start kickoff that's the name of the video. It's uh, I think it's first ice kickoff or something. First ice soon. You'll see it. It's at the end of this video. Click on that, watch the whole thing. You guys are going to be, I'm excited. I want to give you guys some stuff. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff to give you, and uh, that's not what this video is about, so I'm going to stay on topic here. I'm trying to try not to get sidetracked. I just want to let anybody that's new here that doesn't happen to know about it. Um, I do these things called giveaways, and I give a lot of stuff that I can barely afford to give back to you guys, but I do it because I'm trying to get more people interested in the idea of going out and exploring the world we live in versus sitting at home and doing nothing which i do all the time but i'd rather be outdoors doing something so hopefully you guys enjoy that too anyways back to what we're talking about these are the kenders k rips um i think there's a couple different companies that make something similar to these um but these are the lightest ones and this is i've been i've been asking companies for I think 10 years now to, to come up with this size. This is a 164th ounce. It's got a number 16 little tiny treble hook on there, which I probably will actually switch out for the single depending on what 
I'm fishing for, but the little treble would work. I might even upgrade the treble. I might put a bigger one on there. I'll talk more about why I would do that. Um, but so like, what is this one? This is, I think that's like hot perch or something like that. I can't remember the names of these all. Uh, you got like a bluegill one and then obviously you have your wonder bread color. Um, yeah, it doesn't say the colors on here, but those are the three colors I have for this season to start out with. I just wanted to give the three a try. If they work really good, I'm sure I'll buy an overabundance of them and have millions of them. I might even give you guys some of them in the giveaway. It just depends on how many I have. Uh, I have a bunch of extra stuff to give away. That's part of the giveaway, but back to these things. So I haven't actually opened these up yet. Uh, let me Let me get into one of these guys. We'll do, we'll do the little bluegill. All right, so like I said, this is just kind of an overview to show you guys these things. Here, let me, let me do something real quick. Okay, just so you guys understand how small these are. So these are, like I said, the 164th ounce. I think they're called the Kenders Fry, the K-Rip Fry, um, which would make sense because it's about the size of a fry like the smallest little micro minnows there are. But this is like, this is big panfish candy. And if you guys commented below before, uh, I'm pretty sure some of you guys will understand what these are majority for. And uh, let's talk about that for a second. Okay, so obviously these guys are tiny. Like that's, I mean, that's as small as my thumbnail. Well, I'll try to get that to not be so blown out you see that there it's so small and then obviously these hooks are I, I mean i don't think i've ever run hooks this small i have uh what size are these these are 16 i think the smallest i run is 12 and 14 um so probably gonna switch that out just because what happens with these tiny little hooks is you will end up with fish swallowing these and i release a lot of my monsters and this is going to kill a bunch of monsters. I promise you guys that. Uh, even putting that single on there, I left that in the package so I didn't lose it. That single hook might do the same thing. Uh, it just depends on what you're fishing for. The single hook might work uh, if you're fishing for like bluegills and stuff like that. But I'm going to give you guys a quick little secret into chasing big panfish with crazy looking stuff like this. So this little bluegill, the reason I got this little bluegill one... As you guys can see, it looks exactly like a little baby bluegill. That's for chasing birch. I kind of gave you guys a hint earlier. Uh, comment below your comment right now if you got perch right. The thing is, is they're all going to be individualistic. So perch mainly for that, perch mainly for this. Probably... Realistically, I can do my crappie for that and crappie for the bluegill one. Uh, although I've I've had crappie eat a lot of fire tiger things in clear bodies of water, so that might work for that. Um, just moving these things around, I can already tell they're going to be super easy to lose. So I need to put them away and let's get into what I'm going to use with... I'm going to do you guys a favor. I'm going to tell you what I'm probably going to use with these and... Uh, what kind of action rod and stuff like that and then um basically how i'm gonna fish them so that way if you guys want to get a chance to do that too oh and i want to compare them so let me get the other stuff out that i can compare these to and you guys will get an understand of like why i got these and why you should probably get them too kenders didn't send me any of these things i asked trust me i asked <laughs> but nobody wanted to talk to me over at kenders and uh that's fine i use whatever i think is going to work. So as you guys know on this channel, if, if somebody doesn't want to give it to me, I'm still going to buy it and I'm going to try it out. Um, the biggest thing here is I'll tell you if they suck or if they work, but I have this really odd feeling they're going to work really good. Okay. So first things first, I will compare them to, I believe these are the number three ultralight rip and wraps. And I've been using these a lot. Uh, as you guys can see, I've made my own little storage for them. You guys want to see that video. It's in my uh, tackle tips and stuff like that. 
Um, I'll actually put that video also at the very end of this video, guys, uh, so you guys can see that one too. It's got a bunch of great tips, uh, ice fishing and open water or just generalized outdoor stuff. But just wait till the very end of the video, the very, very end, I, and I have two videos that I'll have for you guys that you need to see. Uh, either way, is I'll com compare them to those, and then I also had the idea to compare them to uh, these jigging wraps. Oh, before I do, this is just one of the stickers that I have to offer. Um, obviously, they're jigging wraps, and I use them more ice fishing, so I put the sticker on there. But, yeah, let me get the jigging wraps out for you guys, and I'll try to compare them all side by side. Okay, so... As you guys can see, so these are your smallest jigging wraps. Um, I believe these are number twos. I uh, think that's the smallest size jigging wrap you can get. And then these are the ultralight ripping wraps, and then they're the number threes. You can actually, if I can get it to focus on there, yeah. So you can see that that's the number three. Um, and I've been using uh, the ripping wraps forever now. Uh, and then when they came out with the ultralights, I'd used the number four forever, and then I wanted them to do with the number three. And I was hoping they would figure out a way to shrink that body to about that size, or maybe just a little bit bigger. Somewhere between the two would have been really nice for these guys, and I haven't seen anything like that. Uh, but when the K-Rips came out, you can see it's, it's a very similar body shape. Um, and so I've just kind of pulled these out for color comparisons. Um, these two right here for the ultralight rip and wrap number threes, those two kill. I mean, I use this one so often that I have two of them. Um, and then you can kind of see my color palette here that that's basically how I, it's the type of bodies of water I fish, but those work really good. And then I have this huge case full of those, uh, jigging wraps, but then obviously, so like, that's not the hook that comes on these jigging wraps. I upsized that, and that's what I was saying. Um, it just depends. I don't know if I can take a hook that big and put it on there and not have it affect these greatly. Um, but this is just my best version of a size comparison because these are the smallest jigging wraps you can get, and these are the smallest ripping wraps you can get. And then you can see how small these are. I mean, obviously, if you look at my fingernail, or finger are just like that they're tiny and that's good though because you want fry most of the winter uh, these work really good when fish are ex uh, more um, what would you call it more aggressive and then obviously the bigger ones work when you're really more aggressive and then these guys uh, work pretty much all the time but I tend to have to bait these um, I can get fish to eat them without bait on them if you move them right but these guys I tend to not put any bait on and they work really good. So I'm hoping I get like a hybrid version of this and these guys slay the giant crappies and the giant perch this season. Uh, I have a vendetta against some giant Mississippi perch. Um, comment below if you guys want to see me go back to the Mississippi this year. Uh, granted we have good enough ice for it. I want to go back there but comment below and then remember you gotta like these videos in order to help me out here. <laughs> so. I hope this size comparison helps a lot. Let me uh, let me talk to you guys a little bit about what rods I'll probably use these on and why. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, what rods I have and why I'm going to be using them. Um, but more specifically, the reason you should use something similar. You don't necessarily have to use these rods. I use all tuned up custom rods. Uh, I will have them linked in the description below. Um, but I'm going to kind of go over it firsthand with you on figuring out what what you guys should be looking for in a rod that you'd want to run such a light bait on um but also depending on what you're fishing for because if you're fishing for big jumbo perch and uh crappie you're going to want two different rods you wouldn't want to use the same rod for both of those fish you could but technically there's one other rod that will work better for you so i'm going to show you those right now Oh, and uh, I actually just discovered that I have still some of these tubes laying around. Um, if you guys are interested in using those for your storage, because it apparently works really good for these guys, um, instead of leaving them hooked up somewhere and banging them up or whatever, uh, the tubes fit inside the boxes really well. I will link those in the description too. Um, so I'll make sure to link those for you guys. It makes life so much easier when you're trying to store things with uh, 
you know little treble hooks and stuff and you don't want them getting caught on everything stick them in tubes um but back to the rods so the first one down here i'm going to talk about is my precision uh the second one is the bullwhip um now the thing is i don't have any reels or line on them or anything like that and you guys might wonder like how would you be able to test um what you want to use for a specific rod uh for that bait i'll show you real quick okay so first things first the precision um this has a pretty stout tip on it and it you know transitions real quick it's like it's backbone right away uh so this is a pretty solid blank rod um, and then I have a split grip. So the reason for the split grip is direct contact with the actual rod blank. And then uh, I like foam for my ice rods. Some people like EVA. It's all up to you. That's personal. Um, that's the nice part about tuned up custom rods is you, uh, you build them yourself. Uh, so when you order them, like I got this one with titanium guides. And then uh, this is a 32 inch precision. The reason I got this one is this is my... Uh, this is my feel rod, so like you feel the taps a lot better. This kind of rod, where it's you know a nice solid blank and uh, real sensitive, this kind of rod is what you would use for when you're perch fishing. Um, I'll actually link that video above where I use this for using a spoon of a similar size uh, right now. And then. Uh, the big thing here is so like obviously like i said this would be what you're using for perch or even bluegill on an aggressive day um you'll feel the tap real real nice on this type of rod so this is one thing i like specifically for this is all my feel stuff and then my all-time favorite big bluegill and crappie rod is the bullwhip so this is a sight indicator rod and it's kind of a noodle but it's not so like you can see so from here all the way back to here, solid blank. This has got a ton of backbone. This can fight some very large fish, uh, but it's got a very sensitive tip to it. And I'm gonna show you what I was talking about. So like most people that wanna fish spring bobbers and stuff like that, if your rod's not set up already and you don't have like line and stuff on there, it's kind of hard to gauge. I just take the bait I'm gonna fish and it, you know, it's, if it's got a treble hook, you can, you can do that. So here, I'll try to show you in the thing. You can see it, it doesn't put any bow in my, my super sensitive tip. So I'm very lightly pushing on that. Oh God, hopefully I didn't lose that. <laughs> nope, it, it found me. <laughs> Got stuck to my leg. Some sticky hooks in these things apparently, but uh, no, with the bull whip, obviously with a with a sight tip, you have uh, the ability to run really light light baits and or medium baits, so something that might load the tip. Um, and then you know if you get a crappie upbite, it straightens out. So with this, I you know honestly with how it is, it's so light that. I mean, you can, I can detect that movement up still. So there's enough weight to detect the up bite. So like if a fish picked up on your lure, um, but it's actually so light that when a crappie inhales this, this will probably, cause they're gonna inhale this like a minnow. This will probably just, you know, just drop quarter an inch or something like that when they bite, which is, I love the bull whip specifically for that one. And this is my, like this is a very, very custom bowl up. If you're looking for this guy, I will put that video right here. And I went into detail on how happy I am to have this uh, 36 inch split grip bowl up. This season's gonna be fun because this is gonna be a good rod to have uh, with the next additional setup. I might even just keep that on this rod. Okay guys, so hopefully the big thing here to take away from these new lures from uh, Kenders is they, to me, if you guys want my personal opinion, just kind of an overall after looking at them, because you guys saw them first with me, I really didn't take a look at them. I picked them up and basically filmed this video for you guys. I wanted to, kind of wanted to go over it with you guys and see what you have to think about it. Um, comment below what your thoughts are on it. Um, what should I chase first, big crappie or big perch? Um, 
It might be both actually. Um, and if you guys want me to go back to the Mississippi, you have to comment below. Um, tell me what your favorite idea of what I should be targeting in the Mississippi is. The big crappie, the big perch, the big bluegills, or even my buddy got some big northern pike last year that I kind of, dare I say, am interested in. <laughs> and you guys know me, I'm not really a northern pike fisherman, but I do have all the gear for it, <laughs> so I might as well chase them once in a while. But the big thing here is I wanted to help you guys get an understanding. Tell me if I helped you out a little bit. Um, you know, this way you guys don't have to go look for them. You can order them online if you really want to. If I can find them uh, on Amazon or whatever, I'll link that link below so you can just pick them up from my description. Um, and then obviously merch is always linked in every video's description. If you guys want to help out the channel, pick up some merch. Uh, I will greatly appreciate it because it'll just give me more ability to get out and film for you guys. I basically take all the money I make and I put it right back into filming for you guys consistently. So hopefully you guys appreciate that because I basically keep myself broke. I do get to fish a lot, but I'm just fishing and filming is what I'm trying to do right now. I want this channel to get huge. Um, like I said, big 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Oh, I didn't say anything about that. Yeah, watch the video at the end of this. <laughs> you guys are going to want to hear about that. But like I said before, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it helps some of you guys make a decision whether or not you guys are interested in those lures. I personally think they're going to work really good. I think even those guys are going to eat them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, obviously if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, can you please just remember to... Yeah.